Excellent. All right, hopefully this works. It's your boy. Mortician's Tale. I have no idea what this is about either. Let's jump into it. Well, it's September 14th of an unknown year. 1050. Oh! I already like this one. I like this. Oh, there's clicking around. There's doing stuff. Let's go check our email. Oh, the face is a little scary, but other than that, I'm loving it. Oh, hello! Oh, hello. Hello, welcome. Welcome, Charlie. Nice to meet you. My name's Matthew, and I'm mainly going to be the man who delivers the bodies to you. <laughs> uh, I hear that joke about a, a, a hearse driver? I'll tell it to you. Oh, I'm looking forward to that haha -ha joke. Oh, looking forward to working together. Uh, I think you'll enjoy working here. Amy's a sweetheart. She runs a tight ship. Not that you can't handle, I'm sure. She'd, uh, she wouldn't have hired you otherwise. All right, Matt, thanks. I'd like the opportunity to introduce our new funeral director, Charlie. Charlie. All right, so Charlie's the funeral director. We're handling funeral stuff. We're mortician. We are Morticia. Hey, Charlie. You're near, so it's probably best I explain everything. Tutorial level. In your office prep room, you'll find your cremation station. That sounds like a fun ice cream kind of place. Cremulator station. Oh, my God. Embalming station. All of this sounds like delicious ice cream. And obviously, since you're reading this email, your desk and computer area. Boo! Not ice cream! I know you have experience working with these stations, but please let me know if you have any questions. You got it, pal. Jen. Jen Love. Your subject lines, you should be more professional now. Now that we are business professionals. Oh. Ooh. Oh. Is this, is this my girlfriend? I can wait to get your reply so I can see your fancy new email signature. That is not something people get excited about, is it? Is it? People get excited about that? More, more power to you. I love you're able to land this gig straight after graduating. It sounds super cool. I didn't even know mom and pop funeral homes were still a thing until now. I guess it's just not something I really think that much about. I should look more into this, learn more about your world and industry, because as I said, you are now a very serious business professional. Speaking of being a professional, my museum gig is amazing. I can't believe somebody paid me to move into London. And not London. Oh, the oh, serial capital of Canada. <laughs> oh, it's not Canada. To work in a museum. Like, take that everyone who said I couldn't get a job with an art history degree. <laughs> I'll tell you more about it when we Skype. Stories require you to see my face so you can hear my excellent British accent in person. Oh. Also, I signed up for your funeral's monthly newsletter. Consider your graduation gift. Love you. I'm super proud of you, gift. Oh, that's cute. Love you, love you, love you, love you, Jenna. Thanks, Jen. Man, you guys got a lot to say to me, huh? Wowzers. Okay. Happy to be with Rose and Dollars for all this funeral. Blah, 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 blah. Of course, we're happy to oblige your request for no embalming and for a closed casket. No embalming, closed casket. Got it. And Matthew, drop off the first body you work on. You're friendly. Blah, 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 blah. You know, it's, it's Ms. Garcia, an elderly woman who died suddenly of a heart attack, family asked for a closed casket funeral. No embalming or body prep as necessary. Family seemed a little bit more united than previous families we've dealt with. It's strange how grief affects people differently. Perhaps having more time to say goodbye makes things bit easier if that's possible. Uh, that being said, although you will not be embalming Miss Garcia, I do think it's important to take time to clean her body, and I was going to see her body, but I like to encourage my funeral directions to do that respect for the deceased and her loved ones. Awesome. You got it, Captain. Hey. You got it, Captain. Hold on, that, there were tips. Tips for good etiquette. Thanks for subscribing at a funeral. Oh, I don't care. Don't be on your cell phone. You can't stop me, technically. Legally speaking, you can't stop me from taking selfies. My favorite bodies are okay. Families request a close cast ceremony with no embalming. You're just going to clean the body. 
sponge. Cool. That's it, you're done with Spoon and Mike, who will take care of the dressing and putting in the casket. Is this what this game is? Time to go to Garcia's funeral, and you are responsible for taking care of the deceased body, but also support and pay respects to their dear loved ones. Follow the arrow to head to the funeral parlor. Shit, now I gotta look up fucking good etiquette and not check my cell phone. Oh, dude, we changed outfits, that's nice. Hold up. Don't ban your cell phone, don't be loud or obnoxious, don't get drunk. <laughs> Happily reminisce. Give condolences. Dress appropriately. Give a gift or sign the registration book. Okay. Well, let's, I guess, do that. What is this? What am I doing? Oh! I need to sign the, I need to sign the registrar. I hate these paintings. She's so particular. Fuck that bitch! She doesn't have to see him, I guess. I guess so. Man, people do grieve uh, differently, that's for sure. Hey there. How y'all doing? I heard the family took a sitting on bombing. I thought it was mandatory, like, required by law, but I guess not. Bombing weirds me out. Since the chemicals launched on the ground. Leech into the ground. Leech? Is that how you spell leech? Is it not L E E C H? I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Seems strange to be using a chemical that is known to cause cancer and putting it into the ground like that. You're gonna get the ground cancer. Or into the sewer. Cool. That's what they do with the leftover formaldehyde, right? Just pour it down the drain. So Bobby guarantees you won't be buried alive. I guess. So I'm gonna be a Stop it. I'm gonna be a right now. <laughs> you ignorant shits. Oh, okay. This is that. I just listened to you guys. Oh, I'm hungry. Can we go? I'm hungry! Uh, oh, I think I might actually miss those sweaters. See, there's the happily reminisce. You don't, uh, don't small talk about these things. At least that's what I always thought. Uh, pay respects. F. Can I tap F? F. Pay respects. F. All right, well that's that. Smell you nerds later. Just one dead person down. However many until I have enough to retire to go. Hell yeah. You're among the first one. The family is very happy with no small feet, of course. Pleasing and grieving family isn't exactly the most comfortable in the role of jobs. My next job is a man named Rola. Died of old age, nothing fancy, just a standard uniform funeral with embalming. Reach out to his daddy, Lizzie Duval, if you have any questions. She's handling her father's passing. Uh, 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 I need to talk to Lizzie. Where the fuck is Lizzie? Cool, so I do this job. I gotta go to the, the uh, clean you up station. Gotta get clean. We're gonna have you looking as traditionally buried as bombage from the body that's decomposed quickly. It's time for us. Otherwise, all traditional burials use. Start by cleaning the body. There we go. Click on the razor and drag it over the body to shave it. I have to shave it. Oh, that's satisfying. Strangely. Oh, shavy, shavy. Uh, in order to break your you have to massage the body, click and drag over the body to massage it. Wow. <laughs> the eyeballs deflate once the body starts decomposing. Click and drag an eye cap into each socket to give it a shape. Eye cap? An eye cap? Eye cap. Pop. Beep. There we go. Keep the eyes shut. You'll need to glue them. Click and drag the glue into each- oh man, this is actually weird. Oh, I didn't know this is what it was. This didn't know this is what you did. Is this accurate? Is this accurately what they do for, like, the embalming process? Mel sags and follows. So he's just losing. You can drag the cotton ball. The no wonder a fucking funeral costs so much. Oh my god. Yes.
Yikes! Oh, and then we gotta put the lotion on the skin? Removing blood and replacing it with preserving chemicals. Oh, this is... It will be alright. Let me get the slice of pepperoni real quick. Bop! Gonna need a tube. I do need a tube for that. Pick on the cannula and drag it to the carotid art carrot ar artery. It helps you see better. This is how you get the preserving chemicals into the bloodstream. Yep, I just gotta get the and put it over the artery. Yep! Then you need to connect the embalming machine to the chem blah blah blah. Uh, grab some additional tubing and drag there. Drag that to. What did you want me to do? Grab some additional tubing and drag it to the canyon. Is that. Oh, okay. That was weird. Click the button on the embalming machine to turn it on. Pop! Alright, even if you eat after massage the button, we'll, we'll get the very good massage. A very good massage. All for you, my friend. Get yourself. Whoa! Look at that. This is. Well, bizarre to say the least. I am not sure what I'm supposed to be gathering from all this. My nose is runny! What am I. Hello? Oh, we just need a little bit of a stitchy stitchy. There we go. Almost done, you need to drain the organs of any remaining food. Click on the. What? On the what? On this? That looks brutal as fuck! All done! Michael, take care of the makeup, as well as dressing and put him in his cast. It's time to attend the funeral. Okay, so when I don't bother um, reading all of the, the thing, this ain't so bad. Hey, how you doing? Here's what I'm wondering. Do I actually have to talk with any of you? Or do I just have to go press F to pay respects? He's in his grandchildren's park, play catch. He loves playing catch through a mean curveball. The old, the old madman throws a mean curveball. Am I, is something fucked up gonna happen? Strange people, I'm so strange not seeing most people wearing white. White? Yeah, everything is different for different family members. I can't, I can't remember. I've gone to too many traditional funerals. So mostly white, but like, definitely not red, no matter what. What? I had, uh, my grandfather, whenever we went to his funeral, was all in white. I wanted it to be happy. I didn't want like people to be uh, mourning and all that. So he like threw a little luau on a boat for his funeral. Which I can only hope I can do at some point too. That would be that would be ideal for me. Smack that out of that kid's hand. Get your shit together. Bah! Rabba! Uh, is that everyone? Alright, everyone. I have to pay respects again. I'm gonna leave now. I have no desire to be in this room anymore. Did the embalmers go to the funerals like that a lot? I guess it makes sense. I guess. What's happening here? These are going to die from breast cancer, not for fans. Stand in cremation. Please don't hesitate. Sure. So, a cremation. Let's go. Cremation station! Welcome to the crematorium, baby! We need to prepare her body. Okay. So, all family brought clothing and jewelry for her to wear. It's important to remove these before the cremation process as to not damage them. Uh, okay. Do 
field identifier that's going to be that should be creating. Click drag around identification tag and place it in the coffin. Uh, okay. Wow, cremation's easy. Wow, that's a that's a simple process. Slap that button, I guess. Man. Oh, if they even tried like charge for my cremation, you're in for it, boys. That's a that's a fun, simple process. You can toss me in a fucking like bonfire in the backyard. This is the cremulator, contrary to popular belief. Cremation doesn't turn bodies into ash. So much as bone fragments. Cool. In the cremulator, we use these bone fragments down into ash like remains. Oh cool, so it's just you crush them. So <laughs> Alright. Under the nozzle. Let's put that in the schnozzle. I can drag the bone fragments, drop them on top. Whee! Ha ha ha! It's back into the urn. And you drag it in here. Just go in the urn. There we go. Don't forget the tag! And drag it in the urn. There we go. Last step, bring the urn's lid, drag it on top. We got it. Pop that top. Alright, yeah! Nice. Alright, let's pop on over here. Man, is this is like... I guess you just have to get really casually comfortable with death. Alright, we're gonna pay respects and fucking leave. I don't think there's a point in sticking around. Bye! Bye forever! No one sounds that interesting. Alright, what's up? I'm enjoying my coffee. Oh shit, it's with a heavy heart after right, it will no longer be in business. I have no yesterday. Blue told me it would be the best thing to do is make the ice to protect. Be direct, but remorseful. Well, truth is. Uh, since my father passed away, I've done make the best rose and daughters warm friendly for anyone who shows service and smart. My family, including you, the most recent addition. It's getting hard to make ends meet. Rent is going up in the neighborhood. I'm finding less and less like I have the energy for this business. Uh, a lot of competition for other funeral homes. And, uh, well, there it is. So I even bought, or I sold, either way, soon to Hillside Heritage Enterprise Company. That owns many funeral homes in the city and across the country will replace Rose and Daughters, starting the beginning of next month. Same building, same name, they're keeping the name Rose and Daughters Funeral Home for tax purposes. Though honestly, I'm trying hard not to just see it as a move on their part to keep up the image. That's a family run business. I don't know how I feel about that, but I also don't know if there's anything I can do at this point. Either I've signed the papers, there's nothing I can do at this point either. Sign the papers. At least my father's legacy is still intact somewhat. They have a good reputation and I've agreed to keep you all on. That was one of my stipulations. I would sell as long as you all found a job. So I didn't tell you in a more personal way. I would have loved to have a company lunch, but I admittedly didn't have the heart to tell you in person. Well, there we go. Hey, mate, please leave the note below about the Peacemaker. They can be tricky. You asked if there are any special instructions we wanted to pass along. Just please cream at my father. He has a he has a pacemaker too. Doctor told me that would need to be removed. Cool. Cool. Yeah. Good. All right. Little cremation. Remove the pacemaker. However, Mister Ray is a peacemaker. The under the cremation. Uh, because pacemakers are batteries, they will explode inside of the hot cremation machine. We definitely don't want that. Yeah, that's true. Let's start by removing his pacemaker. Here's a scalpel. Scalpel! What? Ah, I see the pacemaker there. Let's get these scissors here. Grab it a bit. Beep it. Ah, put that where it needs to go. Uh, please throw an identification tag in the top. Wop. There we go. You're all set, pal. Time to get a burning. It's getting hot. It's getting hot in here. You gotta get cremated, buddy. Being dead ain't easy. Yeah, let's, let's go. Place the urn. See, you don't have to give me instructions for everything. 
I know what a few of these things do. Done! Go F to pay respects. I assume this is mostly meant to be told via email. Oh, these two are fucking gossiping. Hold on. Gossip. What's the gossip? Clearing the air with your father. You talked a few times. He is stubborn. That's just a step. Well, sometimes it do be like that. It simply do. What? So apart from like the place closing down, is this all just meant to be stories of email and like the gameplay is kind of just like passive passive goodies on the side here? Cause I don't have all I don't have all the time. I I have none of the patience required for reading all of these emails. If I had passed along to you, maybe I just want to think of the service uh the other month. Apologies if I was abrupt. Kind of in shock for me. It didn't feel comfortable with the whole process. Wasn't supposed to die yet. It'd be like that. Our son, I was hoping you wouldn't have to confront this situation. Yeah, anyway, they're never easy. Uh, they were in, prepared the body of a young man who took his own life. He had a will prepared and asked for cremation, but his family has demanded a traditional burial instead. Unfortunately, he didn't make anyone his power of attorney. Or didn't have any witnesses sign his living will or his advance directive regardless of these wishes. Wait, regarding his wishes. So his family legally is in the right to do whatever they want with his body. It's unfortunate, but we have to do his family wishes. Uh, Matthew is gracious to yeah, take this one on if you're uncomfortable with the subject. Instead, we have a second body to prepare for the funeral or house cleaning. Is this some is suicide something you're comfortable dealing with? Let me know later. Man, I want to respect- I gotta respect his, like, what's up with mushrooms? I eat mushrooms so much, it wasn't the perfect thing for you. I am not trying to have- I, no, 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 I'm not trying to have this conversation. Uh, I'm comfortable. You know what? Fuck it. I ain't scared. Let's go. Hey, buddy. I'm sorry that I have to do this to you because, uh, it sucks. It really sucks. I'm not gonna lie. Sees family ass or cast a funeral. Let's... Like... Sucks, dude. Like, I feel like you should have the uh, bodily autonomy to do whatever the fuck you want. But it is what it is, you feel? You feel me? Oh, for your mortis, sorry. Yeah. Gotta make that paycheck, capitalism all. Gotta do what I gotta do, man. Gots to do what I gots to do. Cop balls. Yeah, I know, it's like a, it's like a, kind of just like a fuck you, isn't it? start talking to, to bodies, you feel? Like, it, there comes a point where I don't know what the fuck I'm doing anymore either, dude. Yo, but if you, like, woke up right now, that'd, uh, that'd fuck me up for life, so don't do that. Something about this, like, th that thought right there immediately made everything, like, a lot less cool. Like, what if this, this whole thing is trying to pull one over on me and just hit me with a haha -ha at the very end? I might, I might have a poopy moment. This is a lot of investment for... For, like, the sickest jump scare I've ever seen. Alright, cool. Speed run, speed run this funeral. Let's go, boys. Speed run! Go, 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 speed run. Wait, where are your punk ass parents? Is that them crying on the couch? Hey guys. Cool job disregarding as well. How about you? Sure, if I was my real, my real, my real, my real. Thank you. 
the parents? Uh, yes, probably the parents. Alright, it wasn't going to be open casket. I'm surprised. Oh, could you have been these circumstances more private? Yeah, right? What's up with you guys? That was really deep. I just thought. Oh! About time I hit the old dusty trail. March 3! Upgrades. Ain't nothing happening around these parts. My neck hurts like a bitch. Oh. Please bring on Rosendar's part. He'll side here. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, a new mod. Uh, but of course, part of the adjustment. Here, here it goes, sir. There'll be a number of changes that will come. Uh, we will send out the memo regarding the specific details in these changes. We expect them to be followed impeccably. Impeccable changes. Charlotte, where are the details of our next client? Ensure that you can uh, follow the requested specifications exactly. After you are done, I will review your work in order to properly evaluate you at the end of the month. Oh, am I out of the tutorial level? Thanks for you to take. Uh, it was a bike accident was, well, it was more than it's expected. If she wanted to be green, to be honest, I don't think I could bear seeing her. So, cremation. Oh, I'm invited. Wait, what am I invited to? Nice, a hernia. Fuck yeah, dude. Nice, cool. Alright, yeah, cremation. So it's just cremation, yeah? I mean... Gotta do the work. Gotta put in the, uh, the effort. It's still telling me what to fucking do. So I'm assuming that you never actually like go off on your own to follow the specifications? Like, what's the... <sighs> How long does this go for? Premulon. Oh shit. Nice throw! Onion, onion. All right, let's go to the funeral. Speed, 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 speed. All I know is speed, baby. Ba bam. Pay respects. I don't know what to do. I feel like. I don't... It's like I want to know if something happens. I need to be your beer after work? There you go. Oh, there you go. Say you know, your rules of codes of conduct. Kind of like I expect you to follow them. Uh, blah, blah, blah. First of all, is required uniform and strict dress code from now on. Second is there's no tattoos that are visible. If you have visible tattoos, I'm sure they're probably covered and hidden. I would speak to the customer's client. Consider and through the opportunity upsell. I always encourage the deceased loved ones. Oh, yep, yep. Quality package. Upselling. Cool. Uh, food is no longer allowed to be brought inside. I said encourage the deceased loved ones to purchase our premium sandwich and appetizer food packages for partner catering concepts. Oh. So it's just upsells? You just want us to upsell. I refute your request on behalf of potential family inquiry and be answer. Okay. Green Bales, I should have informed you that this in the beginning we do not perform green funerals, they are not cost effective. All employees and subsidiaries of Green and Hillary Memorial must comply. Uh, we do not wish to lose potential customers though, so do try your hardest to convince the families requesting Green Bales to insist use a traditional burial package, complete with embalming, caskets, and vaults instead. So what's this? Try to announce from above. Dispose of any unclaimed bodies. Cool. Cremation is preferred here. It's the most uh, cost efficient of the two. 
Cool. Yeah, alright. Yeah. I don't know what you're saying. So the other gorilla walking that time linked to King of the Being. Just here to the beginning of our end. That's it. Uh, okay. Yeah, I got it. Captain. Let's, uh, let's get to... Creamin'. Let's cream. The value was on them, and I'm just supposed to put a location tag. Let. Man, this is cost effective. We've got a machine that does it. And is this all? Is, it... is this is this a motif on capitalism? Is this game a a, a word, a word or two from the perspective of a mortician on capitalism? Capitalism bad? Tattoos covered. Is this a true story? Of course no one would be here. It's a homeless person. They, they didn't have contacts. Well, there's that. They, they just didn't have anyone around. That's like an interesting deviation, though. Sorry, I was busy. I was busy petting the urns. All right, Chad. Where's he be named Chad? All right, just signed a contract for Morning Valley Hospital, allowing us to exist in cadavers. Oh, which it takes over to the beach. Right, sustain future banks. So you're unable to convince the Demica family to take standard funeral. I had contacted myself in order not to lose this sale. Please read the enclosed emails for the list so I don't have to properly upsell potential customers. I want to say that we've lost any customers because of your refusal to upsell. That's part of your job. Matthew says, Draw that's official, but my two weeks notice. Uh, I'm happy I'm working for Member Corporation 101. Um, skills, especially my driving ones. Useful in other professions. Not worried about myself. You, I'm worried about you. You're too good for this corporate scum. You actually care about the people you work for and with, with with and for. Don't let them defeat you. Okay? Man, Matthew is a real one. Matthew is a real one. Should I kiss her? Oh, shit! Oh, hell yeah. You got your kiss? Good on you. I'm sure there was a whole story there that I would have loved to see, but... I'll take the ginger traditional but keep her kid and so we can see this. What a dick. Sure thing, bud. Sure thing, boss. Alright, another traditional, uh... Traditional bad boy here. Yep, alright. Clean as a fucking... Whistle, baby. Come on. Like... I don't even know what the fuck this is meant to particularly be telling me. Except for that, like, corporations suck ass, which I will admit, I already know that. But yeah, the, the, the dollar is what it's all about. I worked in sales, boys. I know. I feel ya. It sucks. Upselling feels bad. And is not what we're trying to do. Also, you can't get, like, trained morticians that are also, like, phenomenal salespeople and just hope that that's, like, a thing that you can do. That, that feels unrealistic. To have, like, the sales guy be the same thing as the actual mortician. Like, it... That's not even cost efficient. You're being silly at that point. You look so foolish. I 
has some extreme training you gotta go through. Alright, nice. Cool. See you later, nerd. I don't really want to talk with anyone here. I mean, I guess I will, because they didn't want to be here to start with. But let's see what's up. So cold in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you Hubsband? Where's Hubsband? Yeah, but I don't know. Those have their reasons. Trailer I sent you. Oh, it's like people don't even care. Oh, they don't even a little bit care. Anything directing? Feel bad not doing it while mass for. I mean, but that is just seems right. We don't want to dishonor her memory by letting her rot. Just one moment, I love her. Wish I had your order. Oh. God damn it, Chad! Fuck you, Chad. How dare. How dare you. Alright. This has gotta be like. Is this it? Oh shit! Whoa, whoa, what? What is this? Charlie, I'm so proud of you. I knew there's something special in it. I hired you. If there's anything you can do, please don't hesitate outside his help. So we miss you enough, please. <laughs> Terrible sense of humor. What happened? Really, when I first became a hearse driver, uh, so that my most important job wasn't steering, it was sympathizing. I respectfully disagree. And thankfully, I concentrated on my driving skills since I'm now working for it. Wait for it. A bus driver! A bus driver, Charlie, can you believe it? I'm pretty sure uh, if I said the most important part of my job wasn't steering, I'd be fired immediately. There you go. Uh, I didn't know this to tell you. For some reason, I was worried you'd think less of me, but I don't know why. You've never been the judgment's kind. Besides, corpses are way easier to deal with than children. Screaming children, might I add. Actually, love it. These kids can be pretty cute. But don't tell them, Amy, I told you that. <laughs> don't tell Amy I told you that. I don't She's always been, uh, she's always harping me for not having any kids and for being all cynical about them. Congrats on your new business, I'm proud of you. Hell yeah, if that was the last straw, was that the last straw? Sing by your new place one day and you show me, uh, show your new, show you my new wheels. Maybe we can grab a bite to eat? Hell yeah, Matthew J. Congratulations, it hit me with it. I'm so happy for you, I know it's been a rough year for you, seriously. Stuck through it all like a champ. You deserve this finally. You're being your own boss is a great move for you. We're not having to explain anything you don't want to. That's the life, boys. That's why I like to stream. That's why I do YouTube videos. Whoa. I'm trying to be not to be. Fuck, man. I am. See, this is what happens when I play reading games. I get all tripped up. I'm trying not to be too cheesy right now. I can't wait. Be home next week for our visit. And to check out your new space. Always, Gen L, less than three, museum curator. <laughs> Wait, PS, PS! I gotta see that postscript. Have you heard about these green burial pods? When I find the link in my one million open tabs, I'll shoot it over to you. Oh, Jen. Dear Charlie, today's the day. Uh, today's the day already, isn't it? I can't believe how quickly this has come up. Thank you for your understanding of your work. You've made today easier already. See you at 1 p.m. Best Ida Jones. See you soon, dog. Is that where we have our green... Our green, uh... Oh, hell yeah! Bro! Bro, it's... Yeah, it's green as fuck! It's green as fuck! This hurts. I thought it'd be easier, but it's not. It hurts so much. Thank you, bro. Thank you for keeping our shoes in mind. You're goddamn right. I think we're ready to get started now. You're goddamn right. Can I help? You still light up? See? Oh, alright. Gotta eat that dirt in there. Grow a tree on him. Well, that was... Okay. Okay! Okay. 
is cute. Fuck the man. <laughs> That's just too like calm and relaxing to be all yelly like that. Oh. It did make me sleepy though. I'm a little sleepy. If this made you sleepy, you let me know. Hey, Meredith Bastion B. It better be an actual B with a little leash on it. Well, there we go. That's that one. Hey guys, if you like that, that was Mortician's Tale. Neil.